On the left, you will notice the normal fundus appearance of the left eye with a healthy optic nerve and healthy blood vessels. The central macula is that round spot to the right of the optic nerve between the blood vessels. That pigmentation is normal. The left eye of a man with advanced choroideremia is on your right. The optic nerve appears healthy and the large blood vessels appear almost normal. The whitish area underneath the blood vessels is the sclera. This is seen most evidently because the vascular layer underneath the retina has disappeared, as well as the overlying retinal pigment epithelium and retina. You will notice small patches of pigment left behind. These are not the same as the so-called bone spicules seen in retinitis pigmentosa or RP. There is a small patch of the remaining central retina on the right, and you will notice two blood vessels coming in from the right side of the picture. These vessels are nourishing the retina and supporting central vision. In the areas that are white, there's relatively poor function, and that is reflected in a loss of peripheral vision.